Hello there and welcome to Fully Charged. I'm really excited to present this show. This is a car that I've been looking forward to driving for quite a long time now. Uh, and when you think about it, all the electric vehicles that we've had up to now, bar one, have been essentially conversions of one form or another from existing uh, petrol vehicles to um, electric vehicles, including this, the beloved, my beloved Mitsubishi iMeV was originally designed as a petrol vehicle. It's been very well converted into an electric car, but it essentially started life as a petrol car. Even the Tesla is essentially a Lotus underneath it. The Mini E obviously is a petrol car. The only exception in our his recent history is the uh, General Motors EV1, which was designed and conceived as an electric car, but then General Motors decided to withdraw it and crush it and not let anybody drive it. That is another story, but I am a about to present my first drive of a car that was absolutely designed from the ground up as an electric vehicle and it is an extraordinary piece of engineering very very nicely put together so here is my first drive in a Nissan Leaf this. Hi Gary, this is, this is Gary. Well, fully charged viewers, this is Gary. I'm at the Nissan, well, I suppose at my at Nissan's UK headquarters. The technical centre, The yes. technical centre. Yes. And I'm sitting in the Leaf, which is a beautiful looking car. It's really nice and I haven't got a clue what to do. Foot on brake, press start button. Is that yes, a clue? Yes, so it's the same as an automatic. Right. Accelerate on the brake, yep. Press the button. <gasps> wow. Oh, everything's starting up. Funky churn. <laughs> <laughs> That is amazing as well. That when that comes on, that's extraordinary. There, and that's saying 184 kilometres. Yes, that's always recalculating depending right, on all the driving time, style. how you drive. But so I've crept around the compound here at 15 kilometres an hour. Right. So it's shown if I stayed at that pace, it would we would get 184 see, kilometres. Right. You know. So every I think it's every 30 seconds it recalculates. It recalculates. So wow. if you're flooring it a lot up a motorway, yeah. it's obviously going to drop, off drop down. And tell yeah. you that you haven't got far. And then in the middle there, is that a does that the energy economy is that a how many kilowatts per kilometer that right you doing you're using right oh it just started moving <laughs> <laughs> wow and it's got i mean it has got very very good visibility i yes, say that just yeah. as i drive over a rather narrow bridge it'd be embarrassing if i bumped into <laughs> something but i think we're all right so at the moment it's not it's amazing at these speeds it's not even registering as a the power usage is so minimal yeah. there's another Oh, those I like those things. This one, so it's showing you regeneration right. when you go backwards and right. And that's nice. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. good. Right. How many kilowatts you use? Yeah. But actually, to maintain, we're doing 24 kilometres an hour at the moment, sort of roughly, and it's yeah. it's barely, barely using anything at all. So. That's right. Yeah. So if you could drive this slowly down the M4, you'd go. For <laughs> you would drive people I don't insane. Don't think you'd be very popular. If you... the, the things that everybody always, always wants to know is. How, well, we've talk, sort of discussed how far it can potentially go, but it's yeah. ha and then how long does it take to charge? Say on a your your, your standard home out at 13 amp. So on the 13 amp like, in the house, it's between eight to ten hours. That's right. from zero to full. Yeah, to 100 percent. And the thing I want to point out to people is that, in my experience, it's it's never. I've never got well. Once I've got back home when it was flashing and being alarmed and yeah. it was very low. Generally, it's not empty, so it doesn't That's take right. that long to. And it, it, particularly if it's like half half full, it, it it's very it seems very quick. Yes. To to, to yeah. top it up even on a thirteen amp one. Yeah. But then can this take this can take different levels of charge? There's a fast charge option as well. Right. And that takes um that's twenty minute twenty eight minutes, sorry, from zero to eighty percent. Right. That's quick, isn't it? Yeah. 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 At the moment road tax for a car like this is, is zero. Yeah. No congestion charge. That's right. But the servicing and what happens to the batteries yes. is, is, is another two very common questions. Yeah. But that's going to change the motor industry. I mean, yes. I'm sure they, you know, they, obviously they do need safety checks, and I'm sure yeah. you know, early yes. on you're going to be t checking them very regularly. Yes. Yeah. But uh, it, it looks like, generally speaking, I mean, certainly from the point of view of engine maintenance, like you would have in a, a, a standard car, there's a lot less. You forget about all that. It is such a smooth drive. The thing for me is a hundred mile range. Yeah. The, with in sort of fairly standard driving yes. is the kind yes. of goal, isn't it? Yes. Because if you've got it, if you, I mean that would do me for ninety nine percent of the journeys I do. Yeah. Would, you well, know, on the cycle that Nissan test on, 
it's called the LA Force LA Force cycle. Right. And this has achieved 100 miles, 160 right. kilometers. Right. So 160 kilometers is 100 miles. Yes. Right. And that's sort of various different types of driving on different exactly. areas, yeah. right? So then, when were they, they, uh, they started building the plant that's going to produce these in the UK? But it's in well, the, the plant's already there. It's, it's, all right. it's the battery plant that they're starting to build. So right. within the within the factory, they're, they're building a they're building just for the batteries. To just for the batteries, batteries yes. right? Because yeah. I saw the talk on the the battery technology that you're using, which was yes, I understood at least ten percent of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's ten percent more than me. Yeah, is it? <laughs> but I mean, the things I did understand was the the kind of refurbishment program, which I thought was really interesting. Rather than you, you know, because all the journalists were saying, "What happens when the batteries run out? Then you do you just dump them and they yeah. load of toxic Put waste them in and a landfill?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. And uh, the very patient engineer went, "No, <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. It's a bit too expensive to throw them away." Yeah. But they, I mean, it sounds like they're very close to sort of 90% recyclable and right, they yeah. reuse a lot of the yeah. materials and, and re reuse the battery even because yeah. at the end of its life you've probably still got 50-60% of its capacity right. so you can use it for stone power yes yeah yeah and there is a timer option on this on this vehicle where you can so the actual car will charge the car controls when it charges and you can you can either have it the timer off so as soon as you plug in the car starts to charge right or you can set a timer um, so that if your electricity is cheaper after say, after say midnight, yeah. it starts charging. So that it saves you having the rather annoying timer that I've got on the wall that I can't work very well. Right, right. <laughs> that's all really that. good. Well, so you plug it in, but it isn't charging it's in the daytime, and then it switches on. It switches itself on. Yeah. How extraordinarily simply intelligent is that? <laughs> well, it's such a simple. I never thought of that solution. Very obvious. Yeah. It is such a nice car. I mean, apart from anything else. You know, nothing to do with what's making us go along. It's a really nice car to drive. It feels really tight and solid. It's not it wibbly yeah. wobbly. It's, and it's obviously very quiet. It's so easy. It's so, it's so smooth. So now I can see the the range is dropping now. Yeah. Now it's gone down to 141. Yeah. So we're doing, we are doing the British speed limit. Look how much we're using. Yeah, very very little. Anything, and we're kilowatts. maintaining the speed. Yeah. So if you floor it all the way, right. Yeah, right. And what's, oh, what's that indicated there? The one onto the... That shows how economically you're driving. So it right. grow a little tree. So the quicker the tree grows, the, the, the more, more economical you're being with the battery <laughs> life. So I was doing... I think I had more tree earlier on. <laughs> <laughs> I've locked the top off since we've been... Oh, I've got a, ah, now I've got a little tree. So as yeah. you drive, then you get... And you, do you start... Well, I start building a yeah, new you'll, tree. You'll grow so you get a small... <laughs> I like that. Yeah, because that's one of the things with the, you know, a very mature technology like internal combustion engines. People know that you can drive, you know, the old Mercedes that's done yeah. 350,000 right. miles and it's still yeah. going. And it's, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Because the electric motor certainly isn't going to be the thing that wears out, I don't no, think, is it? It's no, going to be, the, it'll be battery, you know, but batteries, if you, yeah. so if you've done 100,000 miles in one of these and you have a new battery, you know, a refurbished battery pack, will it do another 100,000 miles? I can't see any reason why not. I can't see that. And then you have another one, it'll do another one, you, know, yeah. you know. There's not really any reason. You know, it will be things like steering assembly joints and yes, brakes and suspension, and, suspension yeah. and all that might need. Yeah. You know, same as any car, but tires and it's fantastic. Oh, that was really good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Now, it's a pleasure. Look at that. Oh. So there's there's no there's no foot brake then, there's no other or hand oh there's that. The handbrake's there, yes. Right, yeah. so you just do, and that's on, is it? Oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much, Harry. That was really good of you. Really, really good. Love it. Oh, I'll turn it off. <gasps>